Hi friends, it's Angela again with Wild Violets Art. Thank you for joining me for Marvelous Monday. So again, we're going to be working with the same stamp set that we were working with before. And um, we're going to be stepping it up, which is a term that we use in the stamping crafting world of making it just a little bit more amazing. Um, so the bundle that I'm talking about, I've given you a link. Um, if you purchase um, the bundle, it's it's thirty six seventy five, and um, you get a ten percent discount rather than buying the stamp set and the punch separately. So before I get into this too much, I wanted to show you um, some new product that um, we're going to have available November first. And I'm going to be teaching a class on this product um, the last weekend of the month of November. Um, it'll be Saturday and then in the morning on Sunday as well. But it'll be the beginning of what I am calling a card club. And you may have heard of a card club before, but what it is, it's a subscription, monthly subscription, and you get the kit for eight cards. So you get to make four different kinds of cards. and um, you'll get two of each. So you can make one for someone else and keep one for yourself. I know that a lot of us that craft, we fall in love with something and we don't want to give it away because we're just sure we'll use uh, the example again. So this gives you an opportunity to do that. So I'll provide a link for that tomorrow. Um, it'll be the first day. And uh, so let me show you what the product is. So it's called the filled, um, fitted florets um, collection and the collection is exclusive to this time of year when they offer a special collection a portion of it will be available in the upcoming mini catalog starting in January but most of it will actually only be for from now until the third or fourth of January so I'll give more details then, but I just wanted to show you. This is the framed florets. This is the framed florets dies. And as you can see, the theme is frames. So it's just beautiful. Actually, let me bring this over so you can see that. You don't need to see my face. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So this is the framed florets stamp set, and this is the framed florets um, dies. So you can see that it has to do with dyes. So this isn't necessarily beginner stuff, but for those of you that are interested in my card club, which starts um, in November, then um, you'll want to understand what this is about. So this is the bundle that will be in the January mini. But along with that collection, they've got this great little Christmas um, sentiment um, stamp set as well, framed festive. And so this is what I'm going to be using in my next, um, in my first card club. And I wanted to show you one of the cards that will be in that uh, card club. So isn't this beautiful? So what I will be providing for you, you'll get the envelope, you'll get the card stuck, you'll get a tutorial, um, the die cuts I'll go ahead and do for you. There'll be some fussy cutting that you'll need to do on your own. And of course, you'll need a stamp set for the verses because I do not provide stamp sets. So once I list the card club as available, you can request or purchase the stamp set yourself. Like I said, I'll be adding all the, the die cuts for you. Okay, so that's just one of the cards. There's actually three more. They're just beautiful. And then this is the paper. These are the um, swirled gold adhesive back swirls that are part of it. And you can kind of see the, the swirl to it. Really pretty. And then this is the cardstock that comes with it. So this is the fitted florets cardstock. And as you can see, just super pretty. And there are some things that are unusual Christmas, like this, um, the berries and the leaves. Obviously, the, the floral, um, not so much, but this can be used for Christmas. This one, not. And then this one is just non traditional Christmas. It's got the berries and the looks like mistletoe leaves. 
and then of course these two and I love the check that's my favorite so okay so back to the class oh one other thing I do also have another class this month and it's a free with purchase and what it is is if you purchase $35 or more from me I'll be sending you a kit for um, for projects and um, on my video that I shared on Friday the kit together the Friday kit together take a look at that I showed two other of the projects that we'll be working on so this one is a fun little shaker card and it's just really sweet little festive and it's um, featuring the hope and peace stamp set and so all you need is just the stamp set and I'll be sending you all the dies that are needed for this and then you have this little tag and this cute little it's called the sweet pillow box so what you'll be doing is you'll be putting it together except for one end you'll leave open and then you can fill it and then glue it shut and use it as a, a stocking stuffer so really sweet so pretty envelope in this paper beautiful it's an iridescent um, but it's called um, snowflake specialty vellum so you can see the vellum is in the back background of this shaker card there's little snowflakes and little balls it's really cute okay all right so that's I know distraction <laughs> back to the lovely and lasting bundle okay so we taught you in the last couple of weeks about the different um, block sizes, the stamp, the punch. We made this card the first time. We made this one, which is slightly stepped up the second time. And I, you're thinking, well, how are you going to step this up any more than you um, already have it? Well, I'm going to show you. And we're only going to use my paper cutter. Let me get rid of some of these things. And the tools that we've already been using, I'm not going to use an embossing machine. I'm not going to use um, embossing folders or die cuts. I'm just going to show you what you can do with your stamps, scissors, cutter, and your ink pad. The tools that we've already talked about. Okay, so with the cutter, so I've already cut the paper. And as you remember, it's an 8.5 by 11 cut in half and scored so that it makes a card and what I need is I need a piece that's for my front like this so I'm going to do the same thing I did before I'm going to cut this down to make sure that it's the right size so that it layers and then I have a scrap and so let me just make some cuts so my card is when it's folded in half it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I need something that's a quarter inch smaller for this really pretty orchid oasis. Let me turn my cutter around because I like using it this way. Okay, so I need four inches by five and a quarter. So that's a quarter inch smaller than both of those. And then I need a scrap of white and that's going to be a quarter of an inch smaller than that. So that's going to be three and three quarters wide by five inches long. And you can see that each layer is a quarter of an inch smaller. Than the one before just like this last card okay but we're going to do something a little different so i'm going to keep my cutter down here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use in my cutter there is a scoring tool and i'm going to use my scoring tool to score my cardstock and i'm going to score it at a quarter inch and then three eighths and I'm going to do it all the way around quarter and then three eighths again 
And if you're thinking, oh, no way, there's all this math, it's really not. Once you get to doing this, you'll start remembering What this does is this just creates a really cool pattern on my paper that wasn't there before. So you can do them diagonally at a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. Um, you can do cross hatching so it ends up looking like it's pillowed. There's just anything you want. It's just so that you can see it's just slightly upping the level of your design. Okay, so let me put this aside. Okay, so instead of stamping like I did directly on the cardstock, I'm going to stamp on a scrap and then I'm going to fussy cut it out. So I need enough for thinking of you and I need enough for the flower. So let me get out my stamps. So I have enough room for both. Okay, and then I have that little, actually I need this. And then I'll do the thank you here in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna put the flower on this large, this is the E size. And then I'm going to use the D size for the little sentiment. Okay. So let me because I'm going to cut it around it. It doesn't have to be in the middle, per se. And then I need the little thank you verse. Okay. Now I know that these things all look just like I did before. Sorry, it seems like I always forget something. I do this in my classes as well. And again, this is just a chamois with water. You can add cleaning solution if you want, but it just gets the color off my stamp so it doesn't stain too badly and then I can just wash this or actually I just rinse it off okay let's just put these aside all right so with the punch I'm going to cut out my little sentiment we've done this before But what we're going to do that's different is I'm going to glue it to this scrap and fussy cut around it because it just adds a little bit of a layer. I'll let that sit and then I'm going to fussy cut this out. Now I just, it's probably about 16th of an inch that I fussy cut around. And what it allows me to do it is it allows me to pop up this cute little floral design. I know it's not fun to watch somebody else cut something, but it, just to give you an idea. I primarily am moving my, my left hand and moving the paper around rather than moving my scissor hand around because then I have actually more control I 
There's those that do this very perfectly. I am not one of those people. And I just want to remind you that when you're making something by hand, somebody's not looking at it for perfection. They're looking at it because you're giving them something that you spent time on, a handmade paper hug or a handmade bit of love. So whatever it is you're doing, remember, they don't necessarily know what it's supposed to look like, but this is just a way for us to send love. And I'm all about snail mail. I am not a fan of just texting. I like to send cards, telling people thank you, that I love them, happy birthday, etc. Okay, so now this one, I'm going to just do the same thing. Just going to go around the edge. No perfect, just to give a hint of color around it. If you're here, give me a shout out. So I know that you're here watching. And if you miss this, I'll be putting this on YouTube as well. So, okay. So using my bone folder, I am just going to line up my edges and raise it so that it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to glue my Orchid Oasis layer. And then I'm going to glue my basic white layer that I scored and then I have some ribbons so this is the um, metallic ribbon that is the orchid oasis also so all the in colors had ribbon that went with them and then of course we have these in color dots so I'm just going to use the last few of my Orchid Oasis as well, or get those ready as well. Okay, so first thing I need are some dimensionals. You get three sheets of dimensionals in each one of these packages, just so you know. So I'm going to pop this up. Probably doesn't need this many, but I like it to be stable. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the middle. Actually, um, put it like that. There we go. And then with some glue dots, I'm going to adhere this ribbon to the back. Of this and then so I'm just gonna tie it in a bow big fat bow maybe it does need to be that fat and I can cut off any extra oops I apologize Some more dimensionals to this.
Hmm. Not sure that I like that. Nice thing about ribbons is you can always change your mind. I have a puppy that thinks he needs to be in here. So I think I'm not a fan of that ribbon like that. I like that better. Okay. And then I can add my embellishments. There's all kinds of more fancy things that you can do. But we're not going to today. Just try to keep it simple again. So you can see the progression of our efforts. Just a little step up. So just kind of give you a, an idea of what I did. Just added a couple more things. So made this three-dimensional or so that it's popped up. This has got another layer of it around. We added the bow and then of course we scored on the cardstock just to give it a little bit more of a, a 3D look. So that's all I have for you tonight. I'm so glad that you joined me again. We're going to use a different stamp set and punch next week. Do something a little more Christmassy. I appreciate you um, joining me. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends. You can also visit my website at Wild Violets Art. And I look forward to seeing you again next Monday.